So y'all seem to like the Giga videos I made. The first one on Nagatora had great reception. The Dragon Maid fans didn't like my uh, summer 2021 season, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, but this one, uh, China's taking over your favorite anime and your favorite anime. No idea what this is about, but it's a Giga video, so he's probably gonna nail it. So let's get into this. And before we get in the video, like, subscribe, do all this stuff. I'm on my way to 2K. Let's go. Mom, mom, listen to me, okay? It's called anime. It's not called Chinese cartoons. It's never been called Chinese cartoons. It's always been called anime, okay? I don't watch Chinese cartoons. <sighs> Wait, Japan are the modern <laughs> kings of 2D animation. He said, hold on a minute. While Disney may have originally set the rules, Japan mm -hmm. have continued to pump out and tell amazing stories in the medium of 2D animation, even if it seems like for the longest time, the rest yeah. of the world decided that 3D was the way to go. But they it's just weird. Their guns, and I think a lot of us gravitated towards Japanese anime for this exact reason. Now, with anime exploding in popularity worldwide, it feels like they have kind of a stranglehold when it comes to 2D animated TV series in the modern day. So with the decades of its Experience and wealth of talent in the industry, we won't really have to pay attention to what other places are doing. Right? So this is about to show off the Chinese anime. I did not think I would find another show that would eclipse Odd Taxi as my biggest surprise of the year. So when a new Chinese animation, Link Click, popped up as the 21st highest rated show on Mao, I was just like, really? What the fuck is this? Just look at this poster. We got two very pretty boys that the oh, girls are obviously yes, gonna daddy. ship together. Oh, oh no, oh, wait, there's a girl as well. Oh, huh? Let me guess. It's gonna be some cliche high school love triangle where he likes her and she also kind of no. likes him, but also has the hots for this other guy who doesn't like her at first. But then it turns out he actually or does. the dudes and none of them confess to each other, and then it gets dragged it. on for a hundred chapters, and then it turns out she's one of their steps. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. You wishes. And it turns out. I was absolutely wrong. Link Click follows two guys, Cheng, Cheng, Cheng Xiaoxi, and Lu, Lu, Lu Guang. <sighs> Fuck man, I'm not even the Hongo Josie yet, and now I'm meant to be neither Zhong Wen Hen Hao. Oh god. Oh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Two boys who can travel through time. Kinda. The two of them run a photography studio, which acts as the core basis of their time travel mechanics. Being able to see all the events that happen 12 hours ahead from when the photo was taken, and this guy can possess any person who took the photo. Sheng Zhaoshe is the traveler, oh, and Lu Guang is the guide. Leading him through the events of the past, making sure he doesn't stray off the path too much that it affects the events of the present. Together, they tackle different cases ranging from corporate espionage, to human trafficking, to cute women doing gay things. Sometimes you just come across a show that doesn't need to do too much to you in because the concept itself is such a strong hook. It's just so perfectly set up to tell interesting stories full of stakes and conflict. And what immediately draws you in about this show is that it doesn't fuck around setting the stage or establishing the ground rules of what they can do and how they do it. They, they just can only enter each do it. Once. Okay. They only have a 12 hour time period to do whatever it is they need to do and they both agreed that no matter what happens they won't act to change the events of the past. But that's not how it's gonna work, paper, right? Like when Sheng Zhao Shou possesses a person, he doesn't just inhabit with them. He feels what they feel, senses what they sense, and even gets host's memory along the way. But he's forced to stay on the predetermined script Lu Wang gives him because whatever happened in the past has to happen again. No or else the future is going to change. About the, situation he's in. the host got yeah. unfairly judged or mistreated? Well, you better just suck it up and take it with no karma because what's, what, what do you think this is? A fucking Darman video? No. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> It's not a Darman video. Oh, what was that? The host slept with someone in those 12 hours? Well, you better get ready for a ride, baby, because there's only one destination and its name oh, is no. Bone Town. The stage is just so like, perfectly set up for an absolutely wild ride, and the show immediately delivers on it. Oh, Link Click has one of the strongest first episodes you can find in anime this year. The show oh, this year, I was about to say, that's a very end, difficult to top. There's some strong-ass top episode, right first episodes. And after the first credits start rolling, you know the exact play 
here. You understand what's at stake. You understand the mm -hmm. ride you're about to get on, and you know what this show's gonna be all about. Yeah. Honestly, episode one tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the series. You're either gonna be hooked or you're not. Being completely straight with you, just watch. No, it sounds episode, weird. We'll probably do a better job at telling you guys if this series yeah. is gonna be for you than some dickhead on the internet ever could who spends far too much time now watching literal Chinese cartoons. Hey guys, please stay. Time travel is not exactly a new concept in TV, movies, oh, yeah. or even anime, and it's so easy to fall into the usual pitfalls. And most time travel it seems... stories is about changing the present for a better future. This, this one seems a little odd because if they are limited to just the ability to... He has to do what happens in that 12 hours, I feel it, there has to be a point where he changes the past... And I feel that's what would make it interesting. Like at the start, I can see them being like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna stay along the timeline," but that just doesn't seem like it would be that interesting. But if he accidentally changes or does something that switches the timeline, that's when I think shit could be get interesting. So. Yeah, we'll see. He's he still has more than half the video left, so maybe he's leaving something out for the end. So let's see. Oh, or changing the past to middle with the present, and then you always get the inevitable paradoxes or plot holes that everyone mm -hmm. just has to accept because time travel. I don't know. Time travel, innit? But here yeah. it's more about accepting that the past shouldn't be changed, no matter how painful you know the outcome's gonna be. I think the most okay. genius element they added was having Chen Zhao Shu get the emotions of the person he's coming into, juxtaposed with the passive observer his partner is. Some of the moments so he's friend truly doesn't absolutely brutal. Yeah. And he has to truly live it. He just has to do it. You have to be merely an observer to some people's most intimate and most traumatic experiences, knowing that the result needs to be willingly acted out might be even harder than being that person living in that moment ignorant to what's about to come next where link link truly shines is in its personal stories it's not always about the big traumatic events but it's in the small details that give so many of these stories heart growing up in a southeast asian family for some reason every problem according to my parents or aunts or uncles was resolved with fucking food <laughs> oh you're hungry you should eat oh you're not hungry you should eat. Oh, you're not feeling well? Have you tried eating? Hey, are you eating well? So a lot of people's What's grandmas. The sky is falling, the sea is red, and the world is coming to an end? You should eat. Hey. Why are you so fat? So just seeing little things, like <laughs> a worried mum phoning up to ask if her daughter is eating well, then traveling all the way to her apartment to bring her some home-cooked food just so she can get through a bad day, I was just like, oh no. Oh god, give me a second. Oh. Hold on, I gotta find my mom and tell her I've already eaten today. <laughs> the production values of this thing. A fucking. What clip is that? Seasonal videos, it's immediately apparent when the show just has that extra bit of mm -hmm. effort, that extra bit of polish. To yeah, I could tell by the animation, it looks very it. interesting. Link -Link has this in like space. it's its own, backgrounds are gorgeous. The like style, you looks know, like some kind of web comic brought to life. Yeah, Even more so than some actual anime adaptation. I was about to say it looks comics. like yeah, Tower of God kind of, but down. better looking. It also has four or five different insert songs spread out during the big moments in the show, and that's how you know you need to take this shit seriously. Because you know shit's real when most anime get even one insert song. This might not be better animated than the best that Japanese animation has to offer, but it beats the shit out of 90% of the seasonal drivel that airs. Not to mention both the opening and ending, which is just... Oh, God. They're just so goddamn hard. The Where only, did he find that episode, video, bro? On a cliffhanger, I didn't immediately start the next episode, because you know what? I still got time. Then there's the opening. I, that's I very difficult is, because as a man, I am not the hugest openings, fan of openings or endings. This opening. I mean, just yeah. listen to this. Look how fucking cool oh, this no. is. Just look at this the only opening I never uh, stopped was like the brain. Black Clover opening. Black Clover has some fire openings so so and Attack on Titan. On other than that one slowed down one. Which was wrong. 
Okay, I might have got a bit carried away, but I was just so hyped to find a gem that I hadn't seen anyone talk about. I think the weakest part He's of like, the show this is mine, I'm gonna... remembered it had an ongoing murder mystery plotline, yeah. cause every time it did, oh. I was just like... Oh, get back to the side yeah. stories! The show is at its best when the two oh. main leads are just used as a vehicle to tell other people's story, and whenever it feels pressured to refer back to the main plot, I don't feel like neither lead's got enough development to be interesting enough to carry it by themselves, cause when it oh. does... It devolves into a more oh, no. standard time travel thriller plotline, which other shows have already done and done better. Yeah, Steins Gate is fire. Absolutely fucking hits. Which is Steins Gate is in right top now, five, but it's it's, it's up there. Solid show. Is it an anime of the year contender? Maybe if it had aired in 2020 when anime was going through was much dead. more of a dry spell, But then ReZero still would have beat it. first best anime of all time? Fuck no. Hell no. But we do have a good foundation. Having said that, I think it's unfortunate that even when I try to recommend it... That's like how there's the Danuk Gintama movie is the highest rated well, right now. Unfortunately, this show it's a little is difficult to Link so rate. So YouTuber makes a post about a show called Link Click and people see the word Link and Click, the first reaction is, where's the Link? Yeah, where's the, where's, where's the video? Where's the video? Video, bro. But also solely Where's the video? It was a piece of media that came from China. Look, I'm just a guy who likes to keep it. So simple. is it in Chinese or is it Japanese? It from, I just like like is the shit. actual and audio. Animation has been on the rise for a while. I've already made a video about the esports extravaganza, King's Avatar, and I thought 2018's Modal Zushi was excellent. Scissor 7 is the closest thing we've gotten to Chinese Gintama, but I think Link Click is the first time they've truly made a gateway show. Something hmm. that I can easily recommend to anyone has an interesting concept. Concept, immediately hooks you is so easily is it really one of the ones you could recommend to everyone it is genuinely one of the better shows this year even in such a strong mm. year of anime and i'm just waiting for the day i can finally start calling this donghua to the masses instead of clickbaiting this as chinese anime because no one right now really knows what the fuck donghua is if yeah. you're finding this he told me that i'd be like what the hell's donghua is, then this is something you can easily binge to fill in the gap now if you excuse me i have a phone call i need to make Mom, I'm good. Don't need food. Hi, Mom. Sorry I shouted at you earlier today. Yes, I've already eaten. No, Mom. It's not anime. It's Chinese cartoons. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed that Wait, video. what? You again to Hong Kai Impact God, I hope that what today. he put right there. Also, they try and travel much. through a dick pic. So, will I watch this? Maybe it is 12 episodes, and I guess they it is already done if it's getting, like, the ratings like that. But could it be Contender of the Year? So what shows came out this year? So, like, I really enjoyed, um, what was it it's called? There Will Be Combatants? That one was good. Uh, Nagatoro was just cheap fun. I enjoyed that. I started watching that Girlfriend Girlfriend BS, and that is horrible horrendous but i love it because it's horrendous that's the point of it um my hero is fine boruto's fire bro i think i think it doesn't count but like boruto right now is at its peak like this is some of the peak naruto you know what i mean like it's very hard to say but as someone who's watched all of it and it's led to this point and it's just like the whole car organization is sick um, and Attack on Titan doesn't come out this year, so, I'm trying to think, that may, may be the case, did Reese, no, S Slime is airing right now, man, I'm thinking too deep into this, I did watch Odd Taxi, which I don't think it's the best, but I thought it was good, I give it like a 7, 8 out of 10, um, the show was a bit chaotic, uh, I like the ending. I like the ending of that. Um, but then he was also, yeah, he, he was saying something about gateway animes, and I wanted to say it because I got my, um, I just had my whole family, we all sat down and watched Death Note because I think Death Note is the perfect gateway anime in general because it's one of those things that it introduces you to how brutal it can be without being too brutal it introduces you to the whole idea of why anime is the way it is. How there's certain visual cues where they're like talking in their head. There's certain little like panels and stuff where it's like you couldn't do that in live action. And especially shit like Ryuk where you look at it and you're just like that looks sick. 
but that would look awful in live action. So that was sort of my way to just kind of explain to my parents why everything is there. And after spoilers, end of episode 37, after episode 25, they were all just like, that was a good show. So I guess I'll have to give it a watch, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things where I'm just like, I guess, I guess I have to. So, you know what? Sure, I'll try it. Um, maybe I'll, like, pin a comment once I got it watched. I do have the next two days off, but I was wondering if I should finally watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Or I should just read the manga. I don't know. I'm in that, I'm in that, I don't know. I'm in that state. But yeah, let me know what you thought. And with that, I'm out. Peace.